Hello, I'm Steven, the Calculator Guy, and this is part two to Introduction to DeFi. So in part one, we talked about what DeFi is and what kind of money-making strategies or protocols exist in DeFi or decentralized finance. Part two is going to go over how to actually access those protocols by talking about onboarding your funds onto a decentralized wallet through a centralized exchange and then connecting that wallet to protocols. That's really it. So again, part two, setting up, getting a centralized exchange set up, and then getting a MetaMask wallet set up, onboarding funds, and finding interesting protocols. So let's jump right into it. First thing is you need a centralized exchange account for onboarding. Uh, so these are accounts or exchange accounts that will connect to banks or whatever financial institution that you're using in traditional finance. Uh, some examples are Coinbase, Binance, Crypto.com, and KuCoin. Uh, KuCoin is really nice for multiple chains. You'll sort of learn that as you grow in the space. But Binance is also pretty good. So is Crypto.com. Coinbase is the biggest and is publicly traded, so you have that going for it. Uh, however, there's only, I believe, two chains that you can send funds to directly. Otherwise, you need to use a bridge through Ethereum or a bridge through AVAX, and that can be pretty pricey. Uh, so do keep that in mind. I personally do use Coinbase because I have their card, but you know, feel free to use any of these. Um, they are all great onboarding exchanges. All right, so... For this, uh, I'm not going to show you how to set up a, a centralized exchange account because I usually consider that the litmus test of a DeFi user. If you can create your own centralized exchange account, uh, then I believe that you are probably competent enough to participate in DeFi. If you can't set up your own centralized exchange account, like a Coinbase account, Binance, Crypto.com, KuCoin account, then I think that decentralized finance probably isn't for you and that you may end up losing a lot of money in DeFi uh, just because your technical aptitude isn't at the level that it needs to be in order to trade safely. So I'm not going to walk you through setting up a centralized exchange account. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. But once you do set up a centralized exchange account and you onboard your funds by connecting your bank to it, then you can get going. So we're going to jump right into step four. Uh, you know, this is part two again. So we're going to step right in, jump right into step four, which is creating a MetaMask wallet. So again, your wallet, your decentralized wallet is your key to DeFi. Without a wallet, you cannot interact with any protocols and you also can't get any assets from centralized exchanges into your wallet that you own. So when your wallet, when your funds or money is on a centralized exchange, uh, you don't really own it, right? You're sort of leasing the rights to the value of those funds. So if you have Bitcoin or Ethereum on something like Robinhood or Webull, uh, you can't transfer those you can't transfer those tokens out because you don't actually own those tokens. Again, you only own the rights to the value of those tokens or to trade the value of those tokens back and forth. With decentralized exchange, you actually own those tokens. You can take those tokens, transfer them, bridge them, use them. You can actually do things with them. Uh, and that's another way that DeFi is just, in my opinion, way better than CeFi. But of course, you know, I'm incredibly biased. So open your central exchange account, create a MetaMask wallet. Let's create a MetaMask wallet. So the thing you need to do for MetaMask is uh, I'm using Chrome right now, but you might want to use the Brave browser. You might want to use Firefox. You might be using Safari. Any of those things are perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to go to the Chrome extension. Uh, you can get the extension on whatever website or whatever browser you're utilizing. And then you just click to add it, right? You'll do the same thing for Firefox or any other browser. I'm going to click add extension. You can see it's downloading down there. Uh, it's going to sort of pop up on the top right when it's ready. And from there, I'm going to pin it to my extensions bar. So we'll just wait a second. There it is. Okay. All right. So now you see this little extensions uh, icon. I'm going to click that and then click the pin next to MetaMask. And what's going to happen is MetaMask is going to populate this, uh, this right here. I'm going to open up a text file because I will need this, this notepad. Uh, you'll see why later. So then click get started to set up your wallet. Uh, okay, so if you already have a seed recovery phrase, you're probably not watching this video because you already have a MetaMask wallet. So I'm assuming you don't. So I'm gonna create a wallet. I agree. 
Uh, okay, new password. The password doesn't really matter. It's not nearly as important as your seed phrase. If you lose your password but have your seed phrase, you can simply uninstall the MetaMask extension, reinstall it, and then just import your seed phrase, and boom, just that was a terrible snap. And boom, just like that, you will be able to have access to your wallet once again. So don't worry about the password as much. I mean, definitely try to remember it. But the seed phrase is of tantamount importance. Uh, that is that is that is your key uh, to DeFi. Without that, oof, you're you're going to be in a bad way. So we're going to get to the seed phrase in a second here. I do highly recommend watching this video on securing your MetaMask wallet, especially if you're a new user. Uh, this will tell you all about what your secret recovery phrase is, or the seed phrase, uh, how you save it, how you can protect it, the different sort of things you can purchase as protection. You can get a hardware wallet. You can get uh, an actual physical hard wallet where you can press your seed phrase onto and then keep it in a lockbox or a safe. There's a lot of different things to learn. Uh, it's one minute, and 35 minute, one minute and 35 seconds. I highly recommend watching it. I am going to skip it, uh, but you can definitely watch that. Okay, so now we're at the secret recovery phrase. If you see this, and you will be able to see this in this video, you can hack into this MetaMask wallet. There will be no funds in it, but feel free to hack into it if you would like. Okay, so here we go. We have 12 words. This is my seed phrase. So this is the key to this particular wallet. Anyone in the world with these words in this order can access this wallet. Uh, without these words, it is impossible to access this wallet. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy these, and now I'm going to, now, <laughs> You should not uh, put them in a notepad file. You should write them down uh, because you don't want this key phrase saved anywhere on any device. You want it written down on a piece of paper or etched into some piece of stone, have on some physical uh, material that you can put in a lockbox or a safe or somewhere very protected. If you have it on a file on your computer and your computer gets compromised, so too does your wallet. Okay. So just imagine that I wrote that down and I had, you know, good wallet hygiene. All right, so we have Kiwi, Tank, Street Slice. Okay, Street Slice. Slice of street. Street Slice, Throw Oxygen Barrel. Uh, okay, Throw Oxygen Barrel. Um, lava Pole Model Razor File. Lava Pole Model Razor Film. Okay. Confirm and congratulations, you have a wallet now. This is super exciting. Okay, so here is your wallet as as a website, uh, and your wallet here is probably what you'll be interacting with the most. So you can see I have zero Ethereum on it at the moment. Ethereum is the gas of your decentralized finance wallet. It's what you'll be using to do all of your transactions. Now, Ethereum gas is pretty expensive, so we're not going to start with Ethereum. Uh, you can if you want to. I start with Ethereum, um, but... I would recommend new users start with something a little bit more simple like Avalanche or Phantom or um, even Terra Luna would be really good. Uh, there are many, many options you could you could start with that where the gas would be negligible. So with Ethereum, one transaction may cost like 10 to $100, one small basic transaction. Uh, whereas on other blockchains, like the Avalanche blockchain or the Phantom blockchain, it's going to cost cents, just, you know, less than a dollar. There's a massive difference in gas prices between the Ethereum blockchain and other blockchains, other EVMs, or Ethereum virtual machines. So let's just look at a few of the blockchains, and then we'll, we'll pick one and we'll go with that. So... Again, I'm going to go to DeFi Llama, which is my favorite website. Uh, and actually, at this point, I probably switched to my main browser. But let's just look at DeFi Llama really quickly. So these are the main major protocols. You can see that Curve is on all of these different chains. Uh, you can see Aave is on these three different chains. Some of them are Ethereum only. Uh, you have Lido, which is on three different chains. You have Multi-Chain, which is a swap. I don't really care about that. Uniswap on four different chains. Uh, okay, so you can see that a lot of these really big protocols are available on multiple different blockchains. So I think we're going to go with Avalanche um, just because it interacts really nicely with Coinbase. You can buy AVAX on Coinbase and send it directly to your Avalanche MetaMask wallet. Uh, and we're going to talk about Trader Joe. So let's do that. I do recommend going through DeFi Llama to access protocols because if you try to access a protocol from a Google link, like let's say you Googled, I don't know, um, Ave Crypto, right? Uh, okay, see, 
uh, sometimes you'll get an ad at the top. Now these ads are all safe, but oftentimes the ad will be a intentional misspelling, or not intentional, but a misspelling of the actual website. That's a paid ad by a hacker or paid ad by a scammer. If you connect your wallet to that fake link, uh, they can access your funds, as long as you approve your funds to be accessed. So you still have to give them permission, but if you accidentally give permission to the wrong site, uh, they can access your funds. So you have to be really careful about not giving permission to the wrong site, which is why I usually go through DeFi Llama because I know all of these sites are correct and vetted and accurate. Okay, so let's go to Trader Joe. And one thing you're gonna have to do is add this network to your wallet. I know that sounds complicated, but it definitely isn't. So to do that, you can see right now that I only have one network here. It's the Ethereum mainnet, the Ethereum blockchain. I wanna add the Avalanche blockchain. So I'm gonna click connect to wallet, then MetaMask. Then I'm gonna click next, connect. Then I have this option to switch to Avalanche. I'm gonna click switch to Avalanche chain and it's gonna ask me if I wanna add the Avalanche network to my MetaMask. I'm gonna say yes, approve, switch network. And now what you can see is I have switched to the Avalanche blockchain. So now instead of Ethereum as gas, I have AVAX as gas. And up here it says Avalanche mainnet. If I wanna go back to Ethereum, I'll click Ethereum. So the really, really cool thing about MetaMask is that no matter which chain you're on, whether it be Phantom or Avalanche or Ethereum, Harmony One, your address is the same, right? So here's my address. I can copy it to the clipboard. I can paste it here so you guys can see it, right? This is my address. This is where if I send funds to an address, and it is this address, it will arrive in my wallet on whatever blockchain I send it through. So if I send funds through the Avalanche blockchain, it'll go to the Avalanche network wallet. If I send funds to the Ethereum blockchain, it'll go through the Ethereum mainnet wallet, but it's the same address both times, but the chain will determine which, which chain it also ends up on. Okay, cool. At this point, I'm gonna switch over to my, uh, my main browser, my main account, so I have a little bit more interactability. <laughs> I have some more options to do things. Uh, okay, so let's grab this link really quickly just so I have that, and then open up this. Okay, so boom, uh, and we were at Trader Joe's. Okay, so what have we done so far? We have assumed you've set up a centralized exchange. We have set up a MetaMask wallet. Hopefully you've recorded your seed phrase somewhere safe, and we have added the Avalanche network onto your MetaMask wallet. Uh, if you want to add other networks, it's pretty simple. Um, one of the things that I will do is I like I kind of cheat. There are many ways to add networks, um, but I just go to beefy.finance because they have pretty much every network that you can interact with on MetaMask, all these EVMs. And then you just click on whichever one you want to add. Uh, so for example, you might click on Phantom. Um, let me do it through this one again. So we're on beefy.finance. <clears throat> And let's just say you want to add Phantom, right? You click Phantom. It'll ask you uh, if you want to use MetaMask. We'll say yes. And then it'll say, do you want to add the Phantom Network? Or just click Switch to Phantom Network. And you can add it, right? So approve, switch. And there you go. You've added the Phantom Network. You can do this all by hand the hard way. But I like to do things easy uh, as much as I can. You know, Some pretty good APYs by the way, on the Phantom Network, you can see 34%, 54%, 53%. And these are on some decent tokens as well. Ice Phantom, a pretty good pair. So all things to consider, right? Beefy is a great protocol um, for auto compounding your yields. So anyways, I'm gonna close out of that and go back here. Uh, ooh, not there, here. Okay, so here we are on Trader Joe, presumably connected to the Avalanche Network. Um, I need to enter my password, I bet. Yep. Switch to the Avalanche chain. Okay, so we need to get gas. That's the important thing, right? We need to get gas onto this MetaMask wallet. So I have 0 0.085 AVAX on here. Um, I'm not currently using the Avalanche blockchain too heavily, uh, but I have in the past and I do like the blockchain. But how do I get AVAX on here? Well, there are a few ways to do that. 
one of the ways to do that is through using Coinbase, right? So if you have Coinbase, you can use Coinbase. Whatever centralized exchange, you can probably use it with the Avalanche blockchain. Uh, you need to purchase some AVAX. That's what you'll have to do. So I'm sort of hiding my Coinbase right now because I don't necessarily want you to see my assets. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so this is fair. There we go. All right, so what you'd need to do is buy some Avalanche, and this will be similar on any centralized exchange. So I'm going to click buy, and then I'm going to search for the AVAX token. All right, technically AVAX is a coin. Uh, the main difference here is that coins are the, the things that run blockchain. So they're the gas of the blockchain. Uh, Bitcoin is a coin, Ethereum is a coin, AVAX is a coin. So I'm going to search for AVAX. There it is. Uh, you would purchase that either directly with your bank account or with other tokens or coins in your wallet. And once you have that, then you will click send and receive. Uh, and so this becomes really easy. All you have to do is send it to your MetaMask address. So you click on your MetaMask wallet, you click on your address to copy it to the clipboard, and you paste it right there. Easy as that. Uh, and then, you know, you'll send however much you have. I don't you click continue, presumably. Um, send. Oh, you want to make sure you're sending the right thing, right? So you want to send AVAX. There we go. Uh, you can see I do not have enough Avalanche. I don't have any Avalanche in my wallet right now to send. So then you would click continue. You would, con you would confirm with your phone. Uh, and then it would send it right to your Avalanche wallet. And you would see it in about 30 seconds to a minute arrive in your avalanche wallet so at that point you're ready to go what you want to do to start um, participating in protocols is swap some of that but not all of that avax for the tokens that you want to use uh, so if you're interested in like one of the really popular protocols is wonderland time i am not currently invested in it um, but if you were interested in something like that then you would you know swap your avax for time Just like that, not all of it, so you might save some for gas uh, because you will need to pay gas fees for whatever you do in this space. One thing you can do if you want to sort of find some interesting protocols is go back to DeFi Llama, uh, go to Chains, find the Av Avalanche blockchain or find whatever blockchain you're interested in, and then look at sort of the biggest blockchains in the space. There's Time, uh, Yield Yak, Yield Yak. So there's a lot to do in DeFi, plenty of uh, high APY and high APR protocols. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to switch your funds from Avalanche to another chain, you will need to bridge. Now, if you want to learn how to bridge, I recommend my Elk Swap Bridging Tutorial uh video which i will link in the description so that's it you can now access DeFi, and with the bridging uh you can access whichever chain you want that is an evm um, and you'll be able to interact with whatever protocols you can imagine many many protocols lots and lots of uh uh opportunities so please check out my videos check out uh donku r's videos check out taiki meta's videos check out DeFi crypto today's videos if you want to learn all about money making protocols um, i will link to all of them in the description they are fantastic influencers in the space and they can help you make money so welcome to DeFi, welcome to owning your own assets and uh welcome to making money hopefully fingers crossed and thank you guys for watching if you want to access me directly um, then please go ahead and join my Patreon. You can access me sort of, you know, whatever I get to your, your, uh, questions with usually within 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours. And you can sort of see, um, what I'm doing in the space and sort of where I'm investing. So have a wonderful rest of your day.